Good job. Good job. Wow. How many of you ever, you ever been fishing? Have you been fishing? You have? Have you been fishing? No. You? No. How about you? <laughs> That's a little story I'm going to tell you is about fishing. You know, I like to fish. I like to do a lot of other things, but I, I do quite a bit of fishing at times over the years, and it's a fun thing to do. You know why? Because we catch fish, little fish. See that? And we catch bigger fish, too. See this big fish? Yeah. That's a largemouth bass. And they are fun to catch. When you catch those babies, I tell you, you got a, something on the other end of the line just pulling it and jerking it around. You'd really like it if you've never been fishing. Anyway, this little boy, he, him and his dad went up to a cabin and uh, on a lake, and they put out a trout line. Well, a line, a trout line is just a line with hooks and that on it, like this. It wouldn't be a fishing pole like this, but it would be just a line like this, and you would have the hooks, and then you would put bait on these hooks, you know, and what... Sometimes you would put, uh, maybe you would put something like that on a hook, you know, and then maybe you would put uh, a worm on a hook, you know, like that. So, and this is what you would call bait. You see that? And there's all different kinds of bait. So not only that, but you might, might put something like that on there. Look at that. It's like a caterpillar. It's a centipede. You want to play with that? Okay. How about what to see? I think I got something else in here. Oh. And... I have caught lots of fish on a lizard. Look at that. What do you want? What? And that is an imitation crawdad. What do you want, Jonathan? Huh? How about a fish? Imitation fish. I think you want them all. There's all kinds of things I've got in this box. And this is not the only box I've got. But you can use all kinds of bait in that when you go fishing. And so you put out this trout line. This young boy and his dad went down. You listen. (laughs) I got got him hung up on the bait. (laughs) Anyway. Yo, Jonathan. Yo. Anyway. Uh, this boy and his dad went down, they put out a trout line. And so they put out the bait, and they come back a couple hours later, and they had some fish on there. And his dad said, wow, we caught fish. And the young boy, he said, I knew we'd catch fish. Dad said, how did you know that? He said, because I prayed. So they baited up the line again, they threw it back out. A couple hours later, they come back, and they had more fish. He said, I knew we'd have fish. He said, how did you know that? I prayed again, he said. So every time he prayed, he caught fish. So then they come down there. It was uh, getting close to dark, and uh, there was no fish. Didn't catch any fish. Dad said, how come we didn't catch no fish this time? He said, I didn't pray. He said, why didn't you pray? Because I didn't put no bait on it. How about that? If you don't put the bait on the hook, how do you expect to catch a fish? You can't catch one of these unless you have 
some bait. And that is what you got is bait. You know, Jesus called us to be fishers of men. And we are to go out and to spread the word. And you know, we have lots of little tracks. This is the word and this is bait. See this? This is bait. And so we go out and we pass out literature. And in gathering, we go out and we go fishing. Yes, we do. When we go in gathering, we go fishing. Because we go door to door and we tell them about Jesus' love. And that's what we do when we go out and spread out these tracks. But you know what? You can be a fisher of men. But you got to use some bait. And just because you can't tell it, you can give it away. That, you know, there's a song about being a fisher of men. I don't know, uh, have you taught them? Okay, now listen. You ready to learn a song? Yeah. Okay, this is the way it goes. I will make you fishers of men, fishers of men, fishers of men. I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. Who's the me? Jesus. If you follow Jesus, he says, I will make you fishers of men. <clears throat> and the Bible, especially in the New Testament, is, tells all about stories about Peter, the apostles, and them being fishers of men. And then that's what Jesus was teaching them, that they should go out now and be fishers of men. All righty, guys. I see you're in thrall. I shouldn't have given you these things first. Is there something in there that you want to take with you? What do you think? Don't get the hook. Don't get the hook. What do you want? What's pretty to you? Okay, you can have that one. What do you want? You want one of those? Okay. How about you? What do you want? Oh, yeah, that's a pretty one. He can have those too if he wants them. Did you want that one? Ooh, how about this one? Oh, look at that one. That's like a crawdad. All right. You got your hands full. One of these days, maybe I'll take you fishing. You get just a little bigger. But I can teach you how to fish. We can go with a fishing pole like this. And we can get hung up on the carpet. But see that? That's how you fish. You got to have some bait, guys. And Jesus said, then you go and teach them about me. Let's have prayer. Thank you, Lord, for these fishers of men. Bless these children, and may they uh, catch lots of fish for you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.